Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 Amazon must-haves for candle makers and wax melt makers. In case you're new to this channel, this is a safe place to come to for mindful motivation and also just kind of a personal blog and like documentation of my business, Eclipse Botanica. So I started Eclipse Botanica back in March. And so in the last almost year of me testing candles and making candles, there are some things that I have found on Amazon that have just been absolute lifesavers and have completely changed the game for candle making for me. Before I get into this, I will have all of this stuff tagged below in the description if you guys would like to go check out any of it. I'm gonna try and find, hopefully they still have all of this exact same stuff on Amazon. So if I can't find the exact thing, I will put the next closest thing that I can find that's the closest in price to what I paid because all of this stuff is pretty cheap. The first one that I wanna talk about, I can't find the bag of my extra ones. It's in here somewhere, I just don't know where but it's these lids that I put on all of my fragrance oil bottles and they fit on every brand of every fragrance oil that I have ever bought. They fit on the 16 ounce jars, jars. They fit on the 16 ounce bottles, the eight ounce bottles, the four ounce bottles. The only ones that they don't fit on are the tester bottles, but they fit on candle science, the flaming candle, candle makers, um, California candle supply. They fit on everything that I've ever tried What's cool about them is that they have this little cap that flips up like that and then you turn it upside down and you can control how much fragrance oil comes out with the pressure of your hand. So I'm gonna tag a video up here where I talk about it in much more length, but these things are amazing and they total out to being like a couple of cents a piece. I think they're 20, like 20 cents a piece or something. They're so cheap. I found out about them because I ordered Oh my god, um, a fragrance oil from candle maker's store, maybe? And it had this top on it. And I remember thinking like, man, this thing is amazing. And so I took it off and I put it on other bottles and I realized, oh my god, it fits on, on everything. And not just all of the brands, but all of the sizes, which was just crazy. So I think that this thing is awesome. It helps so much with the big 16 ounce bottles. Like when you have a brand new bottle, you take the lid off and you try to pour it and it just pours all down the side of the bottle. That doesn't happen. So in the end, it saves you money. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is my microwave stand. It's on my table up over there. So I'm just gonna pull up a picture of the Amazon thing. Pledow. It's a microwave stand and I put my Presto Pot up on top of it with the little spout just kind of like hanging off the edge. So that way it's up high enough where I can put my big, I think it's like an eight quart, no, not eight quarts, that would be huge. The big pitcher, I should know this, I don't. It's big enough so that I can put my big pitcher underneath it on a scale and pour it straight from the spout. And I, I've tried doing it straight just from on the table, having the presto pot on the table, and it was such a pain in the ass. And this has just been so helpful. It makes it so easy because it's just, it's already at the perfect height to do that. And it's metal, so you don't have to worry about the heat bending it or breaking it. Plus it also comes with these little metal hooks on the sides where I set my um, thermometers on, which I don't know, is helpful for me. Now I have, I think three of these 10 Amazon finds are for wax melts. One of them is for both, but this one is for wax melts. This, <laughs> I love this thing. I have been making my skull wax melts for a long time and my biggest issue with them, well, my second biggest issue with them has been over pouring the mold to where it just spills all down the sides. And I, I make like exact measurements of how much I need of wax exactly to go into the mold. So whenever it pours off the side, that means I'm now gonna have a skull that's not gonna be filled up all the way. That's probably dumb on my end, but I found a way to fix that. It's this glass, measuring tube turkey baster thing and it's big enough to where you can suck up wax into it and it's not anywhere near gonna get into your hand or into this i think that it can though i think that if you did fill it up all the way it's not gonna mess up the rubber that's just what i heard but not sure if it's true because i've never filled it up all the way but this helps so much if i start to overpour one of them, I just go in and suck some of it up and then even it out and put it in some of the other molds. That way they are all even and beautiful. I actually originally bought this because I was planning on just taking this into 
my pitcher and grabbing exactly how much I need because there's little, there's teeny tiny little measurements. I think it's um, milliliters. It's it's 10 milliliters. So I like, I did the math and I was just going to fill it up to like there for each skull and just do it like that. But that took a really long time. So I just, I figured out if I do it with a steady hand, I can get them all in there. And if I do over pour, this fixes the issue with that. And these are like super cheap and it comes with, I think three of them, which I didn't know that when I bought it, I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's like $10. The fourth one is not a huge shock. I think everybody kind of knows about these, 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 these days, but it is a heat gun. This one was really, really cheap and it has worked for god how long have i been using this for almost a year now and it's pink it also comes in like a blue and a purple i believe but it was really cheap like if it goes out or breaks or something it'll be nothing to replace it because it's super cheap but this is so helpful if you deal with sinkholes or bubbles in your candles and you need to even out the surface or especially if you work with soy wax and you just have that like funky top to it Putting a heat gun to the top of your candle at the end of the cooling process will help smoothen it out. It'll just, it helps. It helps with a lot of stuff. If you do like other types of candles that have like really cool, like, um, like basically like wax melts. I can't think of what that's called, but like basically like little like designs and like flowers and stuff made out of wax in it. People use this to kind of like soften the top of it so you can stick that in there and it hardens all together. It's really cool. This one's super cheap and it's pink. All right, next, and I got this idea from Erica at Memory Box Candle Co. These silicone pads right here. It comes in a package of four. Mine are really dirty because I use them all the time. I actually use all four of them. I have one of them on my scale, my big scale that my pitcher goes on top of and then the Presto Pot pours into. And then I have another one just sitting in front of me so that I can move it over and then stir the fragrance oil in. And then I have another one sitting in front of my double boiler that I use for my wax melts. And then the last one I use for something else that I'm gonna show you. They're super helpful and they're pink. And I use plastic tables. So I was always kind of worried about having like that, you know, 200 degree thing of wax sitting on the table. I don't know if it was gonna do anything, but it just makes me feel better to know that I have these that I can set the really hot pitcher of wax on in case maybe I don't have a clean space on the table and I just need to set it down. I can grab one of these babies. Now, number six is a two-parter because, I mean, we all know as candle makers, we need to have a scale, right? So I have, um, it's dirty. I have this scale. This is a 33 pound scale. Like that's a lot. I don't know when I would ever need that, but I actually have two of these, which I use one of them for shipping. This is the one that I use to set down underneath the microwave stand that's holding my Presto pot. So I have my pitcher sitting on top of this with my silicone pad on it. And then I pour from there and then I can watch it's digital and you can change uh, the units, there's like five different units of measurement on here. They actually have fluid ounces and then they have ounces, which there's a difference. And I just learned that. So that's super helpful. And the reason that I said this is a two-parter is because that is not the scale that I use for my fragrance oils. I use this scale. This is a gram scale. It goes into much, um, oh my God, words. It goes into like 0.000 grams and that's what you need when you're measuring out something that's not as big so i use this guy for measuring out my wax like if i need 12 ounces of wax i'm gonna use this guy because it goes into like 12.0 it goes into 12.00 or it goes into however many ounces 0 0.00 which is great but that's not the most accurate if you're wanting to measure out your fragrance oil and if you do it in grams like I do, and I know a lot of people think that that's weird that I do my fragrance oil in grams, but then I do my candles in ounces. I'm weird. This is perfect for measuring out your fragrance oil in grams because it goes into two decimal points. It goes into two decimal points. And so this is what I use for measuring out my fragrance oil. And then I use the big guy for my wax. This next one is something that I just found out about like two weeks ago, and it is amazing. 
let's say that you make wax melts and it's kind of difficult to get your wax melts out of the mold. Maybe some pieces of it stick behind or they kind of crumble when they're coming out. First off, that could be that you're not using the right wax, of course. Or it could just be that your silicone mold is really high quality because if you have a really high quality silicone mold, it's going to be really tough. They're not super stretchy. If you have one that's really, really stretchy, most likely it's not pure silicone. The ones that I have are 100% silicone, so they get really tough. They're really, really thick. They're really good quality, but it was such a bitch to get those skulls out of the freaking molds. I've talked about it on a bunch of my videos where I've um, made the skull melts in the videos. It was such a pain in the ass. And then I went on Amazon and I found this stuff. This is a silicone lubricant. This is a silicone lubricant spray. A80 F F F F F fix F fix silicone spray. It also keeps your molds clean. So if you have a really hard time with cleaning them, which I also did, they were always getting really dirty and I was trying to clean them out with dish soap or like put them in the oven upside down so that all of the wax would melt into the, like the cookie sheet. But none of that stuff worked for me. Maybe that works for other people, but it did not work for me. This keeps them clean. This, it's like, it puts like a layer on your silicone molds into the mold and into all of the little crevices in there. And so the skull melts, they just pop out or whatever melts you use, they will just pop out. And then you don't have residue left on your molds. It's really cool. It has saved me a lot of time with taking the damn skulls out of the molds. This stuff is awesome. Now this next one can be for candles or for wax melts. I just recently started using it for my wax melts and this is what I use the fourth silicone pad for is I place this guy down because it has a little, a little holder right here, which is cute. But this is a pancake batter thing, <laughs> words. It's a pancake batter dispenser. I guess, but I use this for my wax melts. Now you can use this for your candles too, because I see on the candle group that a lot of people are starting to find out about this thing because it's really, really cool. It has this little, um, this little doodad in there and you press on the button, it opens it up and then that allows the wax to pour out. So whenever I'm doing my wax melts, I'm only pressing it like a little bit at a time, but that is so much more accurate than trying to pour you know, each individual little, I mean, it just is ridiculous. So this is super helpful with your wax melts. And then also having this guy just for little mistakes because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And the last one, the last one, this has been the biggest probably money saver for me, actually. Honestly, the lids are the biggest money saver for me, but this has been probably the second biggest money saver. So I actually bought these things when I first started making candles because I wasn't really sure with like the shortage that was going on with all candle making supplies. I thought maybe this will come in handy one day and it has. It's wick tabs that I got on Amazon and then needle nose pliers. And you can use this to use the extras of your wicks, the part that you cut off whenever you're done with a candle, you can use your wick trimmings with these little tabs and just the needle nose pliers, you just pinch them at the bottom. I'll attach the video where I like really show you how to do it up here if you wanna go watch. But this has saved me so much money. I don't even remember the last time that I bought wicks because it has been that long. Cause the, the, these, these, these have just, these have saved my life. Okay, I totally forgot to add the last of my Amazon finds on here. It's this air purifier right here. This thing is industrial strength. It's, it's the highest quality one that I could find for the price. So back whenever I was first starting to look into starting making candles in an apartment, I wasn't really sure about the legality of doing that. And I read online that if you have an industrial air filter that there's some leeway with legality, but that's not really the point. The point is that this air purifier is really awesome and there's three different settings on top. It's all touch screen and I guess I could show you, hold on. Turn it on right there. And then there's three different speeds. And that's really like, it's, it's basically like an air conditioner. So if you work in a really tight space, 
This works as an air conditioner and it also filters the air in such a way that I have never had to wear a um, like a face mask thing. I can't think of the, the face filter mask thing. I've never had a headache before and I've always made candles in a really small room. And this is actually like this is industrial strength size four, I think like a really large living room. So they have smaller ones. I'm going to link this one down in the description, but they do have smaller ones. This one just is amazing. Every time I've ever made candles, I've never had a headache. This thing is badass. So I will have all of this stuff tagged down below if you would like to go check it out. And if you do end up adding it into your Amazon cart, just know that it will give me a small commission. It won't be adding any charge onto the order for you. It'll just give me a small commission. So if you wanna support me or my channel or my business, then use the links down below, but you absolutely don't have to. You can just go search this stuff on Amazon and find all of this stuff available on the regular search engine on Amazon. Yeah, I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any other Amazon must-haves that you have discovered along your candle making journey, I would love to hear about them or if you wanna link them down in the comments below, that would be awesome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you could give this video, what the f if you could give me a thumbs up and if you would like to subscribe down below, I would very much appreciate it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and happy Thanksgiving. And as always, be excellent to each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. My fiance's sister gave me this sweater. It's Fabletics. I've never owned anything from Fabletics, but look at this. Like... I look like a marshmallow. I look I look like um I look like the Michelin tire man. Like who even is that? <laughs>